Oh, a pirate's life for me. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to interface a Microsoft Connect version 2 with a NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository called Install Live Free Neck 2. This repository has some convenient scripts to install Live Free Neck 2, which is an open source driver for the Microsoft Connect version 2. So let's clone that. Grab the address. Switch over to the installer. And we'll install it. The installer installs the dependencies and then makes the library and example. Okay, we're finished compiling that. In order to get the Connect to work on the Jetson, we have to apply a firmware patch on the USB. There's a convenience script to do that. So now we're ready to reboot the machine for all the changes to take effect. So after rebooting, let's open up the terminal. Switch over to Live Freenec 2. Our example is in the build bin directory. The example is called ProtoNet. And there we are. So you can see that this is the infrared camera. This is the color camera here. This is the depth map. And then this is the registered version. So this is basically the depth map mapped with the color. Here's some motion to show you how fast it is. Bad hands. Let's turn on the max performance script. Let's reclock the CPU and GPU to maximum to see how good a performance we can get out of this. Go back to our installer directory. sudo dot slash Jetson max. Let's go back to our example. So you can see it has much better performance. This is a 64-bit version of L4T. It's 24.1.
So you can see that when I get too close to the camera, you start losing the map. Sailing, sailing over the mountains, oops, over the ocean waves. Sailing, sailing over the ocean waves. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Bum 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 b